it wasn't always easy and and Ainge, even early on he was very demanding and he had this vision but you know you don't get the the proof of concept straight away like it's 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 a, his idea of football he's uh, demanding that of us but as footballers if it doesn't work straight away um, we're really um you know you know what it's like very critical of, of any approach really and when we found ourselves struggling um he had to do a, a lot of convincing and it was it was really um because of him being that uh, relentless in this uh, pursuit he was so uncompromising that uh that actually created um that success um in the end i guess but uh, the first couple of weeks or even uh, the first games of the season um i and i would have never thought that um we'd uh, achieve what we did later on it wasn't visible from the get-go we needed to be pushed we needed to be forced to do it at times i guess because as a player you're kind of looking for the easy option for the easy way out and it is so challenging to play out under pressure when the opposition is playing a full on press, if they commit six, seven men and put you under under pressure from the goal kick. And yet, um, and that's what I meant before, Ange was so uncompromising, like there was no plan B. There, there was only playing out from the back. We weren't allowed to just kick a long ball. And he was happy to accept mistakes. And that's something that um, we, we had to learn as players as well. In the past, um, we were sort of conditioned thinking, I. Uh, if I um, make a mistake playing out from the back, um, it's on me. The goal is my fault. And next time I'm inclined to kick it long. And he was exactly the opposite. It's like, no, I'm, I'm going to take the blame. You just do what I'm telling you to do, and I'll take the blame for it. And that, to me, made all the difference. It was OK to make a mistake, but it was not OK um, to hide or to find uh, an easy solution. So I guess, um, long story short, I think it's being that uncompromising, but protecting your players, taking the blame, that responsibility as a coach and encouraging everyone to just follow the plan. And also not to have a plan B, because the moment you allow players to play a long ball, if you say, yeah, we want to play out from the back, but you know, at times you just kick it long, what are they going to do? They're always going to uh, argue that, oh, there was a lot of pressure. I had to kick it long. And the football goes out of the window.